We come in all shapes and sizes, but our clothing is still mass produced. We've created a machine to change that. Meet Knitterate, a desktop digital knitting machine. Now you can create your own garments and accessories, and you can share them online in a digital wardrobe. It's easy to use. You can start a design from scratch using our web design app, or simply load an existing design from the online library. Choose the color and material to suit you, and press Knit. Just make a few finishing touches and your design is ready to wear. The process of making a garment has never been so easy. Knitterate helps you be more efficient and iterate faster than ever. You can use our standard size templates or modify them to your needs to get to the final design. You can use your own yarn or choose from our great selection of tried and tested yarns like wool, cotton, acrylic, or silk, in plenty of different colors. We'll provide you with the right parameters for each of our yarns, which will allow you to cut time on sampling and focus on the fun parts, designing and wearing garments. You can knit garments with the same quality as the clothes you can find in your favorite stores. You can also use your usual design software. Simply import your design into our app and have it ready to knit in seconds. Knitterate can help you grow your business or even help you start a new one, offering personalized products to your customers and shortening lead times. By producing garments locally and on demand, there'll be no need to wait for samples, no more excess stock or waste. With Knitterate, you can make garments exactly to your needs, right in your neighborhood, so they don't have to be shipped halfway across the world. Knitterate is not limited to standard yarns, so you can bring your projects to life. With Knitterate, your creativity has no limits. I started this project four years ago to democratize clothing manufacturing. After building a team and countless prototypes, we're finally bringing this industrial technology to your desktop. Last summer, we lived in a factory with over 30 years of experience building industrial knitting machines, and now we're ready to make Nitrate for you. But we need your support to create them cost-effectively. So please, back us now. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm one of the co-founders of Nitterate and I'm just going to talk to you today about how you use the machine in a workshop. Okay, we've got a design for a scarf here that we need to turn into code that the machine can understand. Um, at the moment it's just an image in Photoshop. So what the machine wants is uh, basically a bunch of ones and zeros and some other numbers that tell it where it's going to make a stitch and where it's not going to make a stitch and what yarn carrier it's going to use and how fast it's going to go and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so we've got a script that does this, and we work with this, what we call K-code, quite a lot in development. But in the end, it will be hidden from the user if they want, or you can go in manually and change things, because it's quite understandable to a human as well as the machine. Okay, so now we've got our K-code on the SD card. I come over to the machine and insert it. And then I've got to do a little bit of setup, because these aren't quite the colours that I want. So I've got my yarns up here going down into the yarn carriers. This is my waist yarn. The colour doesn't matter for that. That's just knitted for a little bit at the start to get the garment down into the rollers and sort the tension out and stuff. Um, this is the draw thread, which is going to let me separate the waist yarn from the garment at the end. So you just pull it out and then the two come apart easily. Um, but this yarn I am going to use, but I don't want it to be black. I want it to be blue. So I'm going to change the yarn over. So to do that, I've got my blue yarn, I'm going to break the black yarn, get rid of it, and then tie the blue yarn in its place. Uh, 
and then I come over to the machine and I'm just going to pull the black yarn through until I get the blue yarn through the yarn carrier. And just take it up. And then I've got to put the yarn carrier back into position so the machine can pick it up. And then you have to close the machine before it will let you run it. And then simply turn the machine on. And press knit. So the machine is going to go through some homing operations. So it knows where the carriage is. It knows where all the, the gates and the yarn carriers and everything are. And then it's going to start knitting with some rows of waste yarn to begin with. So for the purpose of this video, we told the machine to stop in between each of these operations. Um, but normally it would just carry on by itself. <clears throat> So it's, uh, it's done the waste yarn now, so the waste is all down inside the rollers and the tension is good. And now it's about to do the draw thread. Um, so here we go. So the draw thread's done. And the next thing it will do is cast on with the main yarn. So it just kind of uses all the needles to get nice loops on all the stitches. Um, so I press the button again and it'll do that. So now it's cast on, we've got a waste yarn, then we've got a draw thread, then we've got a casting on. Um, so the machine's all set up and ready to go. And the next thing it will do is it will start knitting the pattern that you saw on Photoshop at the start. So this is the last row of the pattern being knitted now and the scarf's nearly finished. Um, so after this we need to bind off. So again the machine's going to stop so I can talk about it a bit. Um, normally we just carry on and do this. And this is a process of closing the garment so that it doesn't come unraveled. So uh, the machine's going to start doing this. Um, and it's quite a slow process. So it passes all the needles to the, all the stitches to the back and then it has to kind of join them all through each other. One by one. So the garment's finished now and uh, the machine's going to eject it and then I'm just going to snip the last couple of threads. So the rollers kind of push it out. So the garment's finished now and we have to do one more thing and that's just separate off the waist yarn. So we come over here and we've got the draw thread which you just pull. Not quite in one go. Ta da! And now it's done. Ha, 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 ha.